A portfolio is a collection of different securities. Good morning students. Our today's topic is Modern Portfolio Theory or Markowitz Theory of Portfolio Management. Before we start this theory, first of all look at the concept of risk and return. Basically, investor look for two important aspect. First is risk and second is the reward. If we will talk about the risk, then risk is of two types. One is systematic risk and other is unsystematic risk. Systematic risk is denoted by beta and it cannot be controlled and it will impact the complete system. Whereas unsystematic risk is individual risk that can be reduced with, by the diversification. So let's start with the theory. Modern portfolio theory or Markowitz portfolio theory or mean variance portfolio theory. It is proposed by Harry M. Markowitz in 1952. We all know that there when there is a more risk then there is a more return but a rational investor always ask for the maximum returns at the minimum level of the risk every investor desire to maximize the expected returns with the least amount of risk so modern portfolio theory emphasizes the trade off between the risk and the return if the investor wants a higher return then he has to take higher risk but if he prefer higher returns and low amount of risk then there occurs a problem of trade-off so modern portfolio theory emphasizes the need for maximization of the returns through the combination of securities whose total variability is lower. So Markowitz model thus provide the theoretical framework for the analysis of the risk and return and their interrelationship. So this theory is a logical or a mathematical framework which is definitely going to help the investor to get an efficient portfolio means where risk and return can be optimized. So we all know that the risk of one security is different from the other. So if we will properly combine the securities then one can arrive at a combination where the risk of one security can be offset partly or fully by the other security. This is called diversification. So an efficient portfolio can be developed. A portfolio is efficient if the expected yield is highest at the given level of risk or at the lowest risk. So if we want to build efficient set of portfolio, then we should look at three important parameters. One is the expected return. Second is the variability of the return, which can be measured by the standard deviation. And third is the covariance of one asset return to the another asset. So in general, the higher the expected return, the lower is the standard deviation or variance and there should be lower correlation then the portfolio will be a efficient portfolio whatever is the risk of the individual security in isolation the total risk of the portfolio of all securities can be lowered if the covariance of their return is negative or negligible for example, there is one portfolio which is having TCS, Infosys and IBM share. So all these shares are of IT industry. So what we will say, this is not a perfect portfolio. This is not a diversified portfolio because the correlation between all these uh, stocks are positive because all belongs to one category that is IT. But 
if we will make another portfolio in which there is one TCS, one is Oro Pharma and other is Tata Motors. Then this portfolio is efficient portfolio because here these three stocks belong to three different sectors. So here our risk can be minimized. So you have to form diversified portfolio in which stocks should have negative correlations with each other. So, modern portfolio theory is the theory on how risk averse investor can construct a portfolio to maximize expected returns based on the given level of market risk. So, basically modern portfolio theory is uh, providing the optimal portfolio that could be designed with the perfect balance of risk and return. So, this is all about modern portfolio theory. Now, we will study some assumptions. The first assumption is investors are rational and they behave in a manner in order to maximize their utility with a given level of income or money. Investors have free access to the fair and correct information on the returns and risk. The market is efficient and they absorb the information quickly and perfectly. Investors are risk averse who wants to avoid the risk and try to minimize the risk and maximize the return. Investor decisions are based on expected returns and standard deviation of these returns from the mean. And the last assumption is investor always choose higher returns to the lower return for a given level of risk. So, these are the certain assumptions of the Markowitz portfolio theory or Morin portfolio theory. I hope it is clear to everyone that what is Markowitz portfolio theory. In our next video, we will study about capital asset pricing mechanism. This is the another theory of portfolio management. Thank you for watching the video. Kindly like, share and subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will get the notification whenever I am going to post my next video. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.